will hit the record button button and we are okay uh so let us first introduce ourselves Bianca, i am from romania as i've said before um our learning process team as we have called it um part of uh, oksana was part of the team uh, ilaria crane ilaria is from italy and uh, diana who has who has helped us uh, with the work she is also from romania <laughs> okay because we are we are in the youth center right now uh, day uh oksana was the one who coordinated of the group we have uh, began um our work some we move on we would like to know more about yourself uh to do that we would please ask you each of you to say country you're from um your role uh, or your connection programs maybe you're a volunteer future actual youth or uh, former volunteer um or other person in charge of the learning process a project coordinator so just um the uh, state your role and please share with us how you feel and tell us why you have chosen it okay so just to we need your name, your country, your role, and uh, the right now. Uh, there is no specific order, so if sharing this and uh, and starting, I will first give an example. Maybe people will feel more comfortable. Maybe Bibi, feel free to do so. Thank you, Oksana, for the <laughs> for the in the chat. Uh, I am from uh, Romania, mentor uh, in the past for ESC volunteers. I've been a part of a training course and a seminar. Uh, and my color is very energized. Okay. Um, feels comfortable with going forward? I think Bea? Yes, my name is Bea or Beatrix. I'm from Romania, but I'm joining you from London, where I study. Um, part of a ESC project, uh, and actually I've been part of the group. I'm not sure if that's the right term, but I think that is. And I'm also a youth worker. I wasn't a youth worker when I joined the, uh, when I was now I am. And um, I think my color for today is uh, because it's a very sunny day. I really like red. Uh, my hair used to be red, but disappeared. Um, and I'm really excited to see seedling the water tree. Thank you so much, Bea, for sharing. Anybody wants to take over? Take over. Okay, My name thank is you. Uh, Paraskevi. You can call me from Cyprus. I have been uh, a task manager uh, before. Uh, this period, I am uh, just a mentor. And that represent my mood is also red because I feel inspired. <laughs> thank you so much, Skevi. Nice to meet you. Uh, we are a red. Move on. Who will can? I can continue, maybe. Okay. Right. Hi, everyone. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm originally for from uh, from Romania. <laughs> so uh, at the moment, I'm doing in Bucharest, and in the future, uh, a coordinator, a manager coordinator so this is role and about the color I want to break the red room 
because today in Bucharest is a very beautiful day and uh, uh, yeah, I love the blue, blue sky and give me a very beautiful vibe. So blue, definitely. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for joining yeah. us. See, Maria has raised her hand. Do you feel comfortable to take over? Uh, my name is Maria. I am from Cyprus. Uh, 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 I would for color is blue because I long for the sea. Okay, thank you so much, Maria. I see Linda has raised her hand. Yes, um, so hello, my name is Linda. Uh, nice to meet you all and really happy to participate. Um, Regin is coming from Georgia, but right now I'm in France. Uh, European Solidarity Corps, so I was a volunteer and in France and I participated in French volunteering program, which is called I mean, civic service, and I'm with Association of Beast. Uh, and um, so uh, my color, because it's the color of the sun, and when it's sunny, I really love it. Marseille, so in Marseille, it's really always like sunny days. So thank you. Thank you so much for sharing, Linda. Um, yes, Diana, I think. Diana, I'm from Romania, upstairs from Bibi. <laughs> uh, didn't have any role in the ESC project until now. I can have several roles <laughs> if necessary because I'm a youth. I have the role of a volunteer because I don't have the proper age not be in an ESC project um, and the would be yellow because I it's sunny and uh, it's learning um, I, I think learning looks like light of clarity in our lives thank you so much for sharing Diana we are moving on I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I think. Yes. Are you with us? You can also use the chat if you do not feel comfortable. Your microphone, or you know, the gods of technology. Okay. Maybe there are some problems. Aria and Oksana, who hopefully will be able to say a few words. Oksana, just, I'm going to read Oksana's text ah. and then I'm going to do myself. <laughs> uh, I think please, please do that. Right? Uh, she has a party at home. That's the reason why, I mean, she cannot speak in this moment. Oksana from Lviv, Ukraine, former volunteer in Weimar, Germany. That's where we met, by the way. Uh, I will join you in the red color for excitement and confusion, anger, uh, and because of the noise issue. My true apologies for that. And I take the, the, the ball. My name is Ilaria. Uh, I'm from Italy, as I said before. Um, I am volunteers coordinator and mentor for some uh, volunteers that work in other organizations. There is a network of organizations in the city I live in, Torino. And uh, so we try to cooperate among uh, coordinators to support each other as well. Uh, my color actually is always the same color. It's between blue and green. And uh, I like it very much because it makes me calm, especially in moments like uh, when the tension is rising and uh, I'm, I'm happy to to be surrounded by this uh, anytime that is possible. But also cats like BB, I mean, uh, is also a good therapy, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Ilaria. Yes. Uh, and apparently she wants to be a participant in our workshop group, uh, generally at the youth center, but sometimes at my home too. She's our rest. We have here and uh, yeah she she is asking for love right now <laughs> I did um okay thank you so much everybody for for sharing us and for allowing 
There is a comment from Anya, Anya. has written something. Yes, Anya is from Slovenia. We have a group about children meeting pets and other animals to. Uh, and she does not have a color yet. Uh, okay, thank you very. much. Daisy sent something about the <laughs> the pet therapy. <laughs> uh, moving on, we would like uh, to say a few words. The uh, objective of our work and how we we got here. Uh, share this with you, uh, but as she's not here, please allow me to read. As she would have uh, been uh, able to. Um, to read it and to say it to us. Um, our main idea from the moment we started uh, work in December 20, uh, a bit transformed into uh, processing the learning process, focusing on two main, um, main parts, volunteer, uh, the volunteer, her or himself, and the mentor other person who is uh, supporting the volunteer in uh, the learning process uh, his or her um, ESC experience is going on from it interactive so right now we would like to present you the playful tool that helps volunteer uh, and uh, into understanding how to turn um, an experience into lesson or into a lesson okay thank you Oksana for and for preparing this we are very sorry that she cannot uh, share this she has been great throughout the whole process so we hope that maybe the problem will be solved so we can hear from you by the end of the workshop um, on from here um, in order to start our, our workshop, uh, I would like all of you to uh, go with us and experiment this, um, this tool on the shoes of a volunteer, first of all, because they are this process and uh, our tool is focused on his so in order to begin, we would please ask you to uh, something to write in the paper. And if you prefer a uh, document that you can edit um, while in. Let's uh, see if you remember the reaction button. Bear it, and if you are ready to to act, please. Don't know anything else you can. Okay, I see Ben. Okay, good. Ilaria is celebrating. Good. If we are ready, is um, think about one. Uh, that you think has left you or is still with you. It can be a, a positive experience or it can be a negative experience or what. Um, we do not shy away from those. Studies say that more from negative experiences than from positive ones because those are the ones changes so just down the experience in short the name of experience think about maybe your last your last month and just to be very specific if the experience was a very specific one um to work better, maybe um, do not think this is like, I don't know, um, a month's training or 
the whole year that you volunteered, if you were a volunteer, just specific is or a specific experiences that you have experience that you had. When you are ready, you can also use the reaction. Just let us know that you have done this. Okay, I have seen already some reactions. Uh, in order to move on with our exercise, I'm going to need a volunteer who feels comfortable sharing the experience with us. I need to mention the fact that we will be processing this experience, so you might need in order to go through the uh, exercise and through the game. So uh, let's see, is somebody comfortable with sharing the experimenting uh, this, this tool? Okay, I see a reaction from Bea. Thank you, Bea. What we will do from now is I'm going to introduce a bit and I will play the role of the mentor or the person in charge of uh, support process and we will pretend that Bea is a volunteer who is sharing her experiences. Okay, let me show you what the tool looks like. So this is a spiral. Uh, this uh, is one in order to track the development process that you go through. ESC program. Uh, we have chosen this spiral with seven. Um, as we learn, you know, we add layers and layers uh, to who we are, to our personality, um, to our competences. Volunteering has a tendency to get us out of our shell. Um, as the volunteers develop, as the volunteer develops, we will go out outward in order to make our experience bigger and why not but what do we need to do in order to, ad in order to advance on this uh, very very nice spiral we will this pretty colorful card which is the name of our of our name so we will move on with our exercise. And what I'm going to do, ask Bea to name your experience. Share it with us. Just say what it was in short without this. Um, I think the short version, um, the post event Zoom discussion or uh, European Youth Capital um, event. Mm -hmm. Can you give a bit of context for the people who are not familiar with it? Just uh, so that they can know about. Yeah, Biomare was a finalist for the European Youth Capital title for 2023. Lost the title, but we had a an event in that e um, after the Zoom, the official Zoom call was ended, um, we stayed around for some more discussions. Okay, so is it okay if we call your experiences your experience? 
Okay, thank you, Bea. Uh, while going further with Bea, to go through the process together with her, but I'm not going to experience here, but you can feel free to go through the steps and um, this, uh, this tool does. So what we did now is uh, we use this analogy because, well, each experience somebody has, has a lot of potential, just like uh, a seed into a tree or a plant or anything of joy and makes the world a better place by, you know, giving oxygen, so on and so forth. So this is our seedling. This is our experience we start from with great, great potential. Now, in this uh, this seedling in order to make it um, uh, turn into uh, something in order to need, of course, to ask questions. We use this for the experience in order to turn it into uh, just like just the way that we would water or nourish a seedling or a to grow. So what I'm going to do next is ask a few questions about the experience. So Bea, first of all, first of you, I will ask you to please and write short answers on your uh, you can do this too and then you can you can share it so that we can move on with the uh, think about the details of the of who did you talk to, who were the people that uh, were involved, what were maybe some of the reactions, and I will please ask you to try to stick to facts, much interpretations of what happens because they are very important, like some details. Can that happen? When you are the reaction button. Okay, I see Bay is ready. Let's give some time to the others so that they can present for the for the exercise. Skevi is also ready. Thank you, Skevi, for Mary is also ready. Okay. So we will try and move on. So share with us um, how the experience went down. Please this. So after the event was ready, um, go with uh, some representatives of the youth sector in and um, really the experience actually started during the event there's um, started basically showing their support actually less personal in the actual event but in the more they actually feel their support and encouragement and um, program a bit and kind of um, describing the situation to them. The discussion kind of drifted into a more um, basically the situation, the political situation of the youth sector in Romania. Um, I was I found out that I was really enthusiastic. And I was actually very interested. And I was just staying there and listening what the organizations are doing, how things are changing or not. Um, going into the details of actual um, or organizational um, issues. Thank you so much. Uh, as you can see, I have begun to write 
this from uh, from your answer to the water uh, card. And as we add water, it it grows. Uh, so my next question uh, doing the exercise would be, how did you feel? Try emotions that um, that you have uh, the experience, and please um, that. Anything that you feel is natural. You have the right to feel anything that you feel. Um, all our emotions don't to speak, so it is only natural. To and of course, your answer down and react whenever you feel. We can't hear you, baby. A second, gods of technology. Okay, actions. Uh, so we will now move to Bea. Bea, how did you were your emotions or maybe even thoughts if you feel like they're relevant? Really a combination of many things, which I try to understand after. Overwhelmed because there was a lot of information coming in discussion went on, I started being more enthusiastic. And by the end of uh, the discussion, when everyone was just um, ready to close the Zoom, I think it was kind of a it was really strong there. A bit uh, into this sense of purpose, how would you describe it as a feeling? How does it manifest? For me, it's a very physical. It's, I usually feel this kind of sense of purpose or kind of feeling like I'm in the right. It's usually a feeling on my chest in a way, and I feel light. And I think mentally, it's just the idea of do this. I am part of this, and I'm involved in this, and I'm happy know that my future is um, somehow linked to all these. Thank you so much, Bea, for, for sharing this. Uh, you will be uh, to try to remember uh, which were similar uh, and some experiences where you felt similar emotions who have made you feel uh, the same thing as now. Try to remember them and
Okay, thank you for letting us know. We will try to move on. How about the these experiences or the situations which were similar things? Um, yeah, I before really, uh, one of them is very specific and if I should write about that experience of this one, um, one of my teachers who, who we could, we can send our assignments to him really comes back with a lot of feedback because he's a really harsh marker and this is the first time he's ever done this, but he will return my uh, assignment with make any any suggestions it's simply great uh, so um another similar feeling i usually get event when in which i was i'm involved as in everyone's gone home and we're starting to just clean up place that's um the same feeling and I got that feeling um, a while ago when I got a blog. I made a book review for one of my favorite authors and I got, um, I think I hit more than 1,000. So these are um, the few examples in which. Mm -hmm. um, can you... Can you see a connection between them? Um, um, validation or kind of being some, and I'm doing the things that I'm not just doing them right, but I'm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Moving on, uh, I will please ask you to think and everything we've gone through so far. And think about to change. What would you like to be different? Um, the experience was a negative one. And maybe what do you want positive in your experience? What would you like to keep from the experience? We replicate it in the future. And while doing this, please remember that um, are speaking about things that we would like to be different in the future. We should focus on ourselves, on our behavior, things that are within our reach, so to speak, because and fortunately, possibly, we are not able to especially how other people react so while thinking about what and we want to happen again to repeat we should think firstly about and please write that And do not forget to give us know when you are ready. Okay, thank you. Okay, I've seen. So now, Bea, uh, please, if you, what would you like, I think, to keep from your experiences? Be different, like. Well, I do have one. It's the motivation that I feel always, I, that I always feel after. Um, and there's also one thing I think I wouldn't really change. I think I need improvement. Is usually my reaction to these. Uh, 
because I have my blog and I can kind of just use that as a platform to know that they've had an impact on me. Um, but I know that in the past, I've opportunities to just tell people what great impact they had on me or um, a compliment or any kind of confirmation. Uh, and that I feel like that because I can't always hide behind my blog to just thank people. I should to reply to great experiences, even when it's face to face. Work on thanking people or giving recognition, maybe? Yeah. I'm trying words here. Okay, both for you and for everyone doing the exercise, please ask you to think about what you can happen in order to uh, change the things you want to change. To keep. I think we are, um, we are okay. We will soon need to to return this, but Bea, if you are ready to to share it with us, yes, needs to be fueled all the time. So to keep the motivation, continue to get involved and uh, be part of everything that I'm. Even though I'm aware that I will be very tired at the end of the day, but I know I'll. Um, and for giving recognition, I think it's uh, on my public speaking skills, because as someone who uh, is in writing, I know that I always have the chance to go write it again, but I can't do that when I speak. Um, nailing the words right from the first try. okay thank you thank you very much for getting this um, as you can see I have a card which I have completed with uh, what was the question uh, regarding what can be done from the we call this our learning outcome or our lesson or our conclusion to seeing such an event um and this concludes of you know um or our path from a seedling to experience with lots of potential to an actual outcome there is one more step to do we go back to our now there thinking about the experience that you have mentioned uh, if you were to decide how strong important this learning outcome was for you if you were to give it uh, to speak or a number between one to five where one is you know uh, the smallest and important what number would you give it I would give it a five because after that, um, along with this, actually, it was a result from the sense of purpose. I feel like uh, I'm on the right path and kind of helped me figure out what my. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely give it a five because it just enlightened me. So much, Bea. As you can see, I have moved you from the center of. And we consider that this was these are the in order to uh, to better uh, develop 
uh, and to learn more. So this is how we uh, game. Basically, we invite the volunteer uh, to have this. Uh, we process the experience seedling, water, and tree. The seedling being the experience in itself, the water uh, the volunteer gives to the questions that we ask. This meaning we, we navigate the experience. And the tree uh, is a symbol, you know, for growth. Or more branches that we can go on, okay, whether it's things that we can keep, we can grow further because there are many activities that we can do from now on in order, for example, in Bear's case, work on the public speaking skills oh. to continue to get involved because uh, this is what makes her happy. In the game packet that we are offering with this game, I will go into you will find, if this is helpful, okay, you will also find for, for this, but you will also find uh, instruction. We have two more minutes only. Okay, so you have the description explained, uh, the steps in, in playing the game each time. There are uh, a few tips and tricks on how to play it online and how to play and you can also take the tree card and place it on the circle. And so, you know, this is, is, is a lot better. And a few suggestions, like for example, keep the cards that you use um, in order to um, youth pass, for example. We've also prepared a package of questions used for the informal learning process or for experiences that are not part made with the volunteer or in the project for uh, reaching so and the non-formal uh, learning process uh, question, um, some activities or tasks to speak, like things that the volunteer has to do as part of his work, just to help you for the situations where the volunteer might have a hard time navigating for more details. There is also a short to the volunteer. Now in the very, very few left, I would uh, please ask somebody to share uh, a was to them. If anybody feels comfortable on sharing, have any questions or, or feedback that you can give uh, now. Let's start with questions. If anybody has questions, because I think this is maybe on how the game works. Bell? Okay. Ah, Bell. Um, so, is that maybe you need to go a bit deeper with the questions because I feel like the, uh, getting my mission out of this, uh, out of this experience more with the motivation and um, how I react to things and made me think um, the mission part didn't really come out of um, my volunteering experience I managed to figure it out myself here's perspective for someone who's just joined the, um, the that I think it's important to go a bit more deeper to help them figure uh, You're unmuted. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bea. And uh, as you will see that we have written in the in the instructions um, are several ways of doing this, meaning uh, we have prepared the base in our research phase. But of course, uh, as you go along, you can and go in the direction that you feel that is the best for the for uh, We have some questions. So, so the purpose of the game is to, from every experience, yes, I would say so, is to, to 
experience has and see what learning outcomes we can take out of out it is helping you navigate each experience that the volunteer has be more aware become conscious of uh, of the fact from every experience that they have and maybe uh, even um, of asking uh, some questions to themselves after having and you know uh, make uh, of this experience uh, a process of of learning to see an opportunity that everyone has you are using this circle just for skills or special project um, the circles like the advancement on the is for any type of um, of learning outcome the same process of course with different questions that we have in order to uh, turn an experience whether it be into uh, a lesson or a conclusion or a learning outcome after you have concluded, you know, you got to the tree, you've got your, you can ask the volunteer, okay, uh, how strong do you think this is? How important do you give it uh, a number from one to five? And then that is the number that advances on its spiral. And then you, you mark the place that by placing the, the tree card there or in, It can also be used, for example, for dynamics. So not only uh, for doing activities or the, the things, the service that they are doing, but for example, in analyzing their emotions through the dynamics that they experience with other people. This can be very easy. Uh, that happens clashes between volunteers or uh, other kind of experiences where the emotions raise and the behaviors can be changed and somehow uh, affect also the nature of the experience and of the service. So also in case of crisis that can lead maybe to the topic of uh, I'm thinking of leaving the project, uh, well, this can be a good tool to prevent it because you know uh, from the beginning which are the steps and how much you can work on yourself towards the, the development and improvement of this, uh, of this specific feature. I know that one of my weak points is that I lose my temp very easy. So my goal, my seed is that my water can be reflecting on some moments specifically. My tree can be to be more patient in this process. Just to make an example of some other things that are not related to an event or an activity or a service that is part of. Of course, there use it however you, you see fit and get creative. Um, how did you feel during the process? How was the process for you? I think this is very important to us. Did you feel like something and you found it really helpful, you know, in comparison to other tools? very useful for the development of the tool. Anybody? Okay. Uh, if and there are no more um, contributions, we would kindly thank you from the bottom of uh, our hearts for Workshop, you can you will find the link to our tool in the padlet and the link free to share feedback, ideas, notes there too. Very useful for us. And we hope to see you in other uh, we will now go back to the plenary for the final session. <laughs>